let y of x be the function that solves the differential equation dy dx equals 2 plus 2x plus y plus yx with the condition that y of 0 equals 3. And in this problem, you're asked just to find the function y of x. The first step in the process is to separate the variables. So let's go to our original differential equation and we need to get y and dy on the left hand side any term with the x or dx on the right hand side but this one's going to be tricky how to separate these is not very obvious we'll have to use a algebraic technique that is rarely used where with these four terms that are on the right hand side we need to factor out but 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 the, we can't factor out out of the entire um, right hand side what we have to do is factor by grouping the first two terms we factor out a 2 and we're left with 1 plus x the second two terms we factor out a y and we're left with 1 plus x so then we take these two as two terms themselves and we factor out an x from there. I'm, all right, I'm sorry, we factor out a 1 plus x. Here's a 1 plus x, here's a 1 plus x. These are two terms. When I factor out the 1 plus x, I'm left with 1 plus x times 2 plus y. And now I can start separating the variables by, by moving what's on the wrong side to the correct side. 2 plus y should not be on the right hand side. dx should not be on the left hand side. So we'll multiply by dx and divide by 2 plus y. That'll accomplish the moving that we want. dx no longer on the left. 2 plus y no longer on the right. And we'll have 1 over 2 plus y or dy over 2 plus y equal to 1 plus x dx. Great, separated the variables. Step two, we need to integrate both sides. We have to integrate the left and integrate the right. The left will be a natural log, and the right will just be a polynomial integration. So we have the natural log of two plus y is equal to x plus x squared over two, plus a constant. We'll take that condition, y of 0 equals 3, and find out what that constant is on the next slide. What the condition says is that when y is 0, or when x is 0, y is 3. <clears throat> so we plug that in, and it helps us find out the only variable that will be left, which is c. Plug in 0 to, for x makes the right hand side 0 plus 0 plus C plugging in 3 for Y makes the left hand side the natural log of 5 so that's what C is the natural log of 5 immediately plug this back in to replace the C and technically this is a solution to your problem but we have to actually answer the question that that we're asked they want us to find y of x, y as a function of x. And so we'll do that on the next slide. It's our job to get y. And so we need to take and make the left and right hand side both the exponent on e. And we'll cancel here. Now on this right hand side we have to be careful. Um, what we're going to do is group these two together and think about this one being separate and if you have e to the a plus b that can be written as e to the a times e to the b and so we'll do that on the right hand side we'll have e to that x squared over 2 and, and the x and then e to the log 5 because these guys will cancel and it'll come down as a 5 
and usually for contents we put them out front. So the 5 comes down in front and now we just subtract 2. The function y that satisfies that equation with that condition is 5e to the x plus x squared over 2 minus 2. And that's your answer.